Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So, uh, Louis DeJoy was born in 1957 in Brooklyn, New York, but earned a bachelor's degree in business administration in Central Florida. 1983 to 2014, he was CEO of a North Carolina-based logistics company, you know, that's a shipping company, and retired after the company was acquired for a reported $615 million. He donated $1.2 million both to 45's 2020 campaign and the Republican Party since 2016, so total $2.4 million. 20, uh, 2001, an audit found that the Postal Service gave his company a non-competitive contract of more than $300 million in 1992. The bidding had been competitive. If the bidding had been competitive, taxpayers could have saved up to $53 million. Now, 2020, the Postal Service Board of Governors, all selected by 45 and confirmed by the Republican Majority Senate, um, announced him as Postmaster General and CEO despite concerns about conflicts of interest, of course. He did not go through the normal bidding process and initially two separate uh, search firms used by the Post Office Board did not mention him in their list of candidates. His financial position, he did divest in United Parcel Service and Amazon before taking on his role, but did not divest his 30 to $75 million equity stake uh, in a subcontractor for the Postal Service. With him as Postmaster General, he increased business with that subcontractor. Hmm. Additionally, sold, he sold Amazon shares but purchased stock options in Amazon, re representing 20 and 100% of his prior holdings. The Postal Service prioritizes Amazon package delivery. Now, he was the first Postmaster in 20 years without prior uh, experience in the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, 2020 NBC News wrote an audit raises questions about whether DeJoy's company knowingly overbilled the Postal Service. Hmm. The Washington Post and the New York Times reported that according to former employees, he participated in a straw donor scheme, meaning re reimbursing employees for making political donations. How? Employees, particularly managers, were expected to contribute to fundraisers for Republican candidates and organizations. Then they would be reimbursed in full through company bonuses. And as postmaster, he instituted banning overtime for bidding late or extra trips to deliver mail. He removed hundreds of high-speed mail sorting machines and mail collection boxes, causing significant delays of mail delivery. Uh, these changes were implemented during the COVID-19 pandemic and the 2020 election where mail-in voting was extensively used. So the cards today are going to be this giant Rider weight tarot deck. And as you can see, it speaks for themselves. It's a huge deck. But Louis DeJoy, you know, he just, I don't know. I guess you shouldn't prejudge people. But doesn't he look not somebody you'd want to invite into the house? Um, that's kind of how it seems to me. <sighs> he made a lot of money. Smart fella. Of course, making a lot of money uh, shouldn't be uh, the end all. Uh, for what you do. So I'll give you a quick look at these. Now you're familiar with these Rider weight cards. I know you are, but these are so huge that um, it just makes them very clear as far as what, um, you know, what they mean or what the symbolism in there and how you're going to read it. So man, I've got a mess here. I can't even hardly uh, hold on to them. So we'll shuffle them up, we'll cut them, we'll deal them, and we'll do all those things that make the magic happen. Wow, look at this. I can hardly hold these things. I use these, uh, not a lot, but I mean, you know, enough, a fair amount. Um, you always know this uh, Rider weight uh, symbolism because the back of these cards will always be the same no matter what uh, size of, of these cards you get. So, and um, this is really a test of how far you can stretch your hands. I, I don't know what the purpose is for these cards, but I did buy them, didn't I? So we're going to take a look at Lewis DeJoy, and uh, he's been a successful fella. He only got a bachelor's degree, um, but he turned it into, you know, a multi-million dollar fortune. And um, that's something to say. Now, his uh, leanings are very much Republican. He's raised money for Republicans forever, and um, he certainly wouldn't have been uh, chosen by number 45 if he wasn't a loyal devotee of, uh, of the causes in that party. And, you know, everything's not bad. I hate to keep uh, saying the Republicans as if they're an evil bunch, but, I mean, you kind of get the reputation that you create for yourself. And uh, that's something we should think about. You do kind of 
uh, earn the reputation that you become known by, generally speaking. But we'll spread these out. Look how nice that was. We're going to take six right off the top and then uh, start this reading for Louis DeJoy, Postmaster General. It's so strange that Biden left him uh, in office, one more, in office um, rather than replacing him. But um, maybe um, it's a case of keep your enemies close. Could be. Not to say that he's an enemy, but there you go. Now, the signifier card for this reading, Louis DeJoy, Postal Service. What's up with this guy? Ah. So this is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords, obviously, is you're feeling trapped. You know, this, this Eight of Swords, she's really bound up. She's blindfolded. It's not a comfortable uh, walk if she's going to try to, you know, baby step her way out of it. Um, but certainly... This is uh, being trapped, but being able to get yourself out of it if you really wanted to. This is a signif signifier card. Of course, if you're feeling trapped and you're doing bad things, do good things, and maybe you won't feel so trapped anymore. The challenge to that is, you know, the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is like a big offer, a big offer of, of compassion. And I would say that's what uh, Biden gave to this fellow. He said, you know what, stay in the, in the job. Let's see what you're going to do for us. I was so disappointed when he decided uh, not to try to move that uh, Postal Service fleet uh, electric. The base of this reading, however, is going to be the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, if we're talking about Louis DeJoy, is maybe he's not who we think he is. Um, this Knight of Cups is bringing forward a big um, offer of compassion and uh, saying, listen, uh, we can cross this river. We can go forward. Uh, we just want to do it carefully and thoughtfully. Huh. I don't know that that's who he is, but that's the basis of the reading. For We have to decide how that fits in. The recent past for this is, huh, having uh, the six, six of Wands is uh, celebrations, uh, having won the day, and uh, perhaps that's how he's feeling in, in the fact that he didn't have to leave his position. Um, definitely laurels here, everything good. Uh, this is a happy past for this um, reading. Up in the sky for Louis DeJoy is the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is also, now I've been interpreting this as Joe Biden. So you know what, I'm going to leave it like that. It came right to my mind. And uh, Joe Biden is up in the sky of this reading. So Louis DeJoy had better figure out how to please uh, passionate, compassionate Joe, I believe. I'm going to slip him in like that so we can see him. King of Cups. And then uh, on the potential outcome of this reading is the Page of Swords. And this is a very... Um, very aggressive, I think, page of swords. He's got a nice big sword, although it is somewhat out of the out of the frame here. And uh, this is justice and truth, and maybe this is the way he's trying to go. I, this uh, reading isn't at all turning out the way I thought it would, but all you can tell is what the cards are uh, telling you. So, self of Louis DeJoy right now, Louis, what's going on for you now? More of the swords. Uh, you know, a great big offer of truth and justice. Maybe he's figured out he better show in a big way that uh, he's going um, straight. The uh, environment that he's in then is moving on, the Six of Swords, moving on from troubled waters. And I guess that's what he's done. He's in the environment having moved, moved out of that environment uh, that 45 had and into something calmer and that makes more sense um, that's uh, happening in the administration now. The hopes and fears for DeJoy in this case is the hangman being suspended and I suppose you could say that you better step back take a breath look at what you're working in before you make another step forward he didn't become a multi-millionaire by making stupid uh, dangerous choices and uh, he didn't get his position in the government that way either he's a careful um, fella he knows what he's doing when it regards his career and then the potential outcome for or the final outcome for all of this is the Queen of Pentacles. Of course it is. This guy has just got a golden uh, spoon uh, in his mouth and he put it there himself. So the Queen of Pentacles says, I've got this, this value. I'm going to hold on to it. I've got enough power to make that happen. So that's my in a snap reading for Louis DeJoy today. Let's see how it pans out in the future. Really, I appreciate you coming by and, and taking a look at this channel. It means an awful lot to me, and I hope you get something out of it. But bye. For my now. name is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. I hope you got something out of this. It's a blast for me, and ciao for now.